Oh, that's money right there. That's really good. So that was center fairway the rest of the round. You're watching the Miracle Swing Experience. Hey guys, I've got an awesome video for you today with my main man, Danny Ruiz, professional golfer. And we're going to be talking about the importance of hitting fairways when you're under pressure. Okay, now there's a lesson from Ben Hogan where he said that he didn't start to play his best golf until he was willing to put the driver in the bag if he just wasn't feeling it. And the other day, I actually pulled out my three wood on a hole that really didn't require driver. I was a little nervous uh, coming down the stretch on the back nine, and I just stuck with the three wood. And I thought that that was a, a pretty good lesson. So we're gonna be reviewing that lesson today, talking about hitting three wood. And I wanna tell you guys, the membership is growing at the Miracle Swing Country Club. We have a great group of people working on the over-the-top miracle swing. We're playing the best golf of our lives. So I'd love for you to be a part of this movement. If you'd like, you can start with three free videos. I've got a link down below in the description box that can get you started on your over-the-top miracle swing journey. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about my intensives. I am working on something new with my lovely fiance, America. Uh, this is going to be a really nice Miracle Swing experience, okay? That's the new title, and it's going to be America and I, and it's going to be a his and hers getaway, three and a half days together where we're going to work on golf. The guys, if you want to play golf and if your wife wants you to do yoga and hiking and meditation with America, we're going to explore Sedona and we're gonna do a lot of amazing things. But I just wanna put it out there that that's something that we're working on and this is gonna be a, a class A experience. But now let's dig into my video on the three wood and I hope that this helps you play the best golf of your life. Hey guys, so I'm super excited to be out here at Eaton Canyon with my main man, Danny Ruiz. How are you, brother? Doing great. Awesome, so where we've been uh, working lately is on my transition and make sure that it's nice and smooth and the last time i played i was at a course that's really tricky for me mm -hmm. and i was two over after 11 holes and i wanted to bring the round in and i decided i was squirrely with my driver and the next hole was a shorter hole so i hit three wood right down the middle and i decided to stick with that for the rest of the round which you know, I was happy that I had a personal record there, you know, was able to bring it in, but I hit every fairway with my three wood. Um, but I don't like that I wasn't hitting my driver because I had to bench it, you know, but the key was I could hit a ball 250 with my three wood with a nice easy swing. And again, I wasn't um, rushing the transition. I was sure. letting it just kind of fall. And this is my first three wood today, but let me see if I can demonstrate what I was kind of doing that day. Oh, that's money right there. That's really good. So that was center fairway the rest of the round. Wow. And, you know, sure it would have been nice to have pitching wedges into some greens. I ended up hitting a five iron into a green. I hit a beautiful five iron, mm -hmm. three wood five iron on one of the longer holes, but I was able to bring it in. And, um, you know, but this, this, this three wood was really, really helpful. And Hogan said that he made a big jump in his ability to remain calm and play well when he told himself, you don't have to hit driver on every hole. If there's a a hole that doesn't fit your That's eye right. and you feel nervous. He's like, you can take a three wood or even a three iron yep. and hit it, yep. you know? And yep. that's one of the things that helped him to learn to be more, you know, not force the issue. That's right. You know, and that's right. what I was proud of in that last round is I didn't force the issue. And you were thinking about how to play your best round and you knew that there was maybe some struggles or he knew there was some struggles with his driver. So he went to something that he felt confident, something that he know he can pipe down the middle. And you might have only given up 10, 15, 20 yards, maybe, maybe 30 if you yeah. pipe one out there. So I think that's smart. But I do have a little surprise for you guys and for Christo. I gotta, we're gonna hit some drives with Christo here in a little bit. I'm gonna make some challenges and we're gonna get the swing tracer 
on the ball and uh it's gonna be fun but uh i'm gonna sh christo doesn't even know i'm doing this yet and i just i didn't even know i was doing it i just kind of came up with it all right on let the me fly, see if i but... can hit another smooth three wood That's that's about as good as it gets right there. I mean, you probably maybe two yards off line, a little, you know, little it's, right it's of center. You know, it's funny. That felt like a miss, but that'd be, like, oh, that's, it wasn't that's perfect. That's right center it was of the fairway. Pretty, pretty good. Like, that's the whole point. Yeah. It's like, even though, you know, maybe I was slightly in the heel on that one, I mean, I can play with that ball. So how about if I hit one more and then we'll pull out the driver? Absolutely. You want to do that? Yep. But the key is not to rush that transition and just work with the forces in the golf swing and not try to overpower the forces. That's about three, three of the best shots I've seen you hit. It's really good. Yeah, so I want to get driver. Let's do it. Give a tee. Yeah. The old PGA pros, they had this much simpler kind of wisdom Guys, I've created the biggest controversy in modern golf by insisting swinging over the top is the best way to swing a golf club. The entire golf industry is trying to teach people to go the opposite way, and I think that's terrible. First of all, the greatest champions from the past all swung over the top. Golfers like Bobby Jones, Sam Snead, and Arnold Palmer all took the club back to the inside and swung over the top. Number two, beginners and juniors instinctively swing the club over the top because it's the most natural. It's just like throwing a ball. That's why they do it. You just have to learn to do it the correct way and you will hit the most powerful shots you've ever hit in your life. I guarantee it. Do TT. <laughs> Thank you, man. So I want to send you three free lesson videos that will teach you the over-the-top miracle swing that I teach my students. I shot a 72 at Balboa. It feels like you can't miss. This swing is taking the world by storm, and I want you to be a part of this movement. So click the link in the description below and take advantage of these free videos because I'm not going to have this offer up for very long. As soon as we get enough golfers on board around the world that are spreading this message, I'm going to close it down. OGT! But I want you to be a part of this movement and I want you to hit them long and hit them straight.